So my excitement is reaching new levels this morning. I came out and I discovered what I've been looking for. I discovered a pollinated zucchini. Um, not sure what variety it is, but if I can find out, I'll be sure to put its name in the title. Um, it may go through some more color changes, which will reveal its true identity, but this also may be the color that it is. I'll just go check on my, uh, I'll go check online just to see if anything matches what I currently have growing right here. Um, I noticed that some maintenance needs to be done to the zucchini plants. So I also want to take y'all along on that simple maintenance that I'm going to uh, basically do. But before that, I want to show y'all we have another female bloom developing. And you can tell the difference between a male bloom and a female bloom because this little portion here on a female bloom is much thicker than what you will see on the, for the uh, regular stem on a male bloom. You can see the stem is kind of cylindrical in shape. It's rounded. Uh, this female bloom actually has angular edges on it, and it's, and it's thicker than the uh, male bloom, uh, the male bloom's stem. So the stem for the female bloom is the actual fruit, and the stem for the male bloom is an actual stem. Just like uh, the leaves, these are an actual stem, and they're cylindrical in shape. So the little uh, maintenance that I'm going to do on these couple of zucchini plants is very simple. It's... Uh, Basically, you want to go through the plants, finding the yellowing leaves, like this one here. And these can be basically uh, snipped off or broken off. I'm going to just break them off. So this one looks kind of green. It could have been left on for a couple more days, but the plant is making plenty of new leaves. And you can actually see the deeper, darker green color in the healthier leaves. So I'm just gonna go through here and sift through the leaves and see which ones are yellowing. And you may notice that some of the yellowing leaves actually have broken stems. So that's the ones you wanna pull because that energy won't make it all the way, uh, or it won't produce as much energy as possible for the plant, uh, which is just creating shade and giving, uh, and giving a habitat to insects that you might not want on your plants. Like I have the leaf footed, I have the leaf footed bugs attacking my plants this season. <laughs> um, so not too many yellowing leaves uh, come out. When I do come out, I, I pull them when I see them, but there's still some in there. I'll be careful when you're moving your plants. And you, you don't want to tug your leaves because depending on how loose that soil is, you can actually you might accidentally pull out a plant. So you can see if I tug this dead leaf, it kind of moves the plant. So I just put my thumb here and pinch it with my four fingers. And that will provide uh, more room for sunlight to enter the plant. It will create more air flow for the plant. I'm gonna use those leaves to mulch with. Uh, and I'm also going to use them for another experiment and we're going to save that for the next video I'm not going to mention what I'm going to do with them I want y'all to watch the next video and find out we're just going to continue cleaning these guys up some of the leaves may not have broken stems and they're just naturally dying off I'm going to pull those this will also help to keep your plants healthy and prevent disease and it should extend your season somewhat by at least a few days, if not more. I'm not sure how many zucchini plants I have here. I assume it's at least three of them. The more the merrier, of course. Got the yellow one right here. You can see that's a few leaves I've already pulled and the plants are already looking more spacious they have more space in there now there's another one that i pulled i used to mulch my little strawberry section that i have here i have the scarlet plants right here i may come put a couple of leaves in uh in most this general little area you 
Yeah, it's just creating a lot of space for the um, for new leaves to grow in, and it's creating a lot of space for that sunlight to enter and for that wind to enter and help keep the disease down. Helps to keep the leaves dry. Uh, dry leaves. You want to have dry surfaces on your leaves. You don't want the inside of the leaf to be dry. It means the plant isn't hydrated. You just want the outside to be dry so the that disease can't take hold. It's kind of like you don't want to walk around with wet skin, right? Especially on a um, on a cool day. Definitely don't want to walk around with wet skin because that can create chills. It can, uh, you might get a cold, all types of things. I can see this leaf is starting to die off, so I'm just gonna pull this one too while I'm out here. See those edges, but it's still deep green at the bottom. It still can be pulled off. And this one can be pulled off. These are the older leaves, basically. Once they age, they uh, produce less energy and it's not efficient to keep those types of leaves on your plants. You can see deep green from tip all the way to the center of the leaf. This one isn't. There's a lot of water in those stems. I can uh, feel it when I snap the stem in half. So you can use those stems for a lot of things to mulch with, as I said. That would help to provide some sun protection for at least a, a day or two until the uh, leaves dehydrate. And it looks like we're nearing the end. Alright. Yep. And that's that, y'all. So now there's the plant back here behind the blackberries and you can see those leaf footed bugs in there those little orange bugs those uh extra leaves are providing a habitat for these guys so i'm just going to try to pinch pinch the uh, little bugs that i can get and pull off these yellow leaves because they don't like the sunlight i can tell you that right now they only uh, sit in the sunlight once they get a little bit older and they develop that hard body. That's when they, uh, that's when you notice them in the sunlight flying around and whatnot. But in the early stages, they don't like that sunlight and they avoid it because they are basically the prey of uh, certain insects. And they have soft, uh, they have very soft bodies that can easily become sunburned, AKA instant death for them so this is looking beautiful you can see the blooms coming out and that's that's good right there i can see a couple of more yellowing leaves and another grow bag back there i didn't realize i had so many zucchini planted i need to really come and clean up so i can go if in case i need to go back there and pick some zucchini i can see some flowers uh, and i can see a lot of leaf footed bugs back there too you can see them right there on the so you definitely want to keep those leaves cleaned up. Um, excited about this zucchini and to help it on its way, I have some of my green tea here. This is the first plant to produce a, a fruit set. This is my green tea. And this will help those zucchini to get a all those flowers to get a nice kickstart and it'll help this zucchini to swell up real fast. I wouldn't be surprised if it'll be right by tomorrow. Thank goodness, I'm happy that I'm gonna have a lot of zucchini this season. Well, I'm happy I'm gonna at least have one zucchini this season. We can take a peek into the beautiful bloom here. Obviously the bees have been visiting the blooms thankfully um so 
That's that, y'all. I'm gonna leave that bloom there so the bee can come and do its thing. I'm gonna do something special with those leaves there. I'm gonna walk around the back of the uh, garden bed so we can see if there's any more zucchini growing. You can see the Korean gold sweet potato vine trying to escape the bed. Let's get that back in there. I can see some male blooms, no female blooms as of now in this little section. Nope, this is a female bloom right here where my finger is. Let's try to get a zoom in on that behind this gate here. So I can't reach too far, but this is a zucchini uh, female bloom. And above it, you can see the males. So you can see that distinct difference there. A very distinct difference. The female bloom will almost always be larger than the male. zucchini action going on apparently I'm trying to get some of these uh, older leaves here right. at least got a couple there um, I'm gonna visit I'm gonna enter this bed myself at a later time and do some deeper cleaning if you, if you really wanted to attack my plants I think you should be a more neutral color so you can blend in with the shade little leaf footed bugs yeah, that works in our favor, right? That's that, y'all. Got some zucchini going on. I'm gonna go check online and see what variety this is. Very excited because I I like to use zucchini for um, for different reasons than most people. Uh, I'm vegan, so I and I uh, don't eat salads, so I don't eat raw vegetables at all. How, how crazy is that, right? It's a vegan that doesn't eat raw vegetables, but I've never actually had a salad before. So I'm not sure how salads are normally taste or how they're supposed to taste. But I do like cooked, cooked vegetables. I've always liked cooked vegetables, um, even before my vegan days. But basically I like to use uh, zucchini for uh, stir fry dishes. I have a, a spiralizer which I like to um, make uh, pasta noodles from. I like to make pasta noodles from my zucchini, and I make spaghetti with it. Spaghetti and tomato sauce. Um, I like to hand make my sauce also. So I need to get some tomatoes growing, right? I guess that'll be the next video. Me sowing tomatoes and trying to grow them through the winter time. I've been saving seeds from uh, Roma tomatoes that I've been getting from Whole Foods. So I'm, I'm hoping that those will be high yielding because nothing that's in the grocery store isn't high yielding. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Everything that's, that you see in a grocery store is only grown by those farmers because those varieties are high yielding. So I'm hoping that these Roma tomatoes, uh, their seeds, uh, it come from organic Roma tomatoes. I'm hoping that these will also be high yielding. So we'll do an experiment on that. I have the seeds dried out already. Maybe I'll make that the next video. Um, but you can see this, it looks like the zucchini is already growing in front of me now that I've watered it. <laughs> but um, I like to use it for pasta noodles, basically. Um, doesn't necessarily need tomato sauce. You can just spiralize it, turn it to a pasta. Uh, harvest some um, longevity spinach for some very healthy greens to, uh, to stir fry with it. Um, if you're familiar with Chinese dishes like, uh, what is it called, lo mein. So if you're familiar with Chinese dishes like vegetable lo mein or something like that, and you just throw a bunch of vegetables with your pasta, I, make, I like to make dishes similar to that. And you can see I basically have an endless supply of Give a tea spinach. I, at one point, I was eating it every day, and I'm talking about I was harvesting a colander full 
a like a large colander full of uh, longevity spinach. spinach. I can I can take a bunch of leaves from this section, and it looks like I want. It looks like I didn't even touch the garden bed. So these vegetables can uh, fill you up real fast if you got the right things growing. Um, I also not to keep y'all not trying to hold y'all up i'm just trying to give y'all some ideas here also i like to use the zucchini or i want to use the zucchini to start making pizza crust from so i want to uh figure out a way to make bread or aka pizza crust and if you have any recipes on that please comment down below and let me know because i'm new to making a uh, bed or a piece of um, bread or a piece of crust i'm very new to this i never tried it before very familiar with uh, spiralizing zucchini. That's that's a very simple thing to do. Um, I want to I want to make those crust though, and uh, and for that I also need tomato sauce. So I have plenty of uses for a zucchini. Um, if I can get the technique down right, and I have plenty of uses for tomatoes, other than eating them raw. I've never ate a tomato raw either. So that's that, y'all. I hope this video was helpful in any type of way. Just found another dying leaf so we're gonna pop that one off i don't want the water that i just gave to the plant the plant's root system i don't want that water going to these dead leaves i want to go into these living leaves these very large living leaves so that's that see y'all in the next one